Yo, so what's up, people? Uh, this your boy Tim. I've never recorded anything and put it on YouTube before, so this is my first time. Um, however, what I am recording today is my Rubbermaid seven x seven storage unit that I just recently recently purchased, put together, and I just finished doing some um, shelving up in there. Um, so what I'm going to show you is pretty much the shelving unit that I put up and what I use to make sure everything is installed really tight and supported really well. So here it is. I'm going to show you a little bit of the outside, some things I did also. So I'm going to flip this camera around so I can show As you can see, the 7x7 seven seven storage shed with the double doors on here, um, which I have open to kind of give me some cool breeze coming from this hot Texas heat. So as you can see here on the left side, I have two by fours, which I bolted into the floor. And what I did was I actually took the lag bolts that I initially used to install the actual flooring with, and I took those out so that I didn't have that gap in between my two by fours and my actual flooring. I took those out and I just put those down really good in three different places on my floor studs. As you can see, I put three in this one, I put three in the back one, I put three on this side as well. And as you can see on both sides, I have a little small piece right here. I guess that's about seven inches long right here by my foot on both sides. Um, and I use lag bolts, three eighths. I think those are three eighths by two inches. So those can actually go through the two by four and the floor and have really great grip. Okay, now let me go. I use the two by fours, as you can see. I think I grabbed probably around 20, 25 two by fours. And I actually was fortunate enough to use one uh, five by eight sheet of plywood. Um, because I knew I was using the two by fours, I measured up about 58 inches high to give me plenty of room from my shelving top to the actual roof without anything touching or, you know, saying I wish I would have went a little bit lower. So as you can see, for each one of these, I use these brackets. And those brackets have these screws going to the floor as well as the wall studs. And underneath here, I use the exact same size. I think these are like two by fours, but they just bent on here. So that has my supporting two by four here, which is going all the way down to that back wall right here. You see this other 2x4 I braced up right here, which is supporting this middle shelf right here. It's supporting this middle shelf to fix the camera. It's supporting the middle shelf right here. And it's going from this side all the way over to this side. And this bracket is being this 2x4 supporting supported by this 2x4 and this bracket. Um, it wasn't hard, but it was very time consuming. I also made sure that I braced these studs on the floor and to the side of this, the walls of the Rubbermaid storage. And because these walls are not strong, they're very flimsy because it's, it's plastic, not the strongest and not the thinnest. It's durable plastic. As you can see, I put every two by four has those brackets going into the actual walls. And actually it supports the walls and it supports the shelving. Everything is actually really solid. And I'm gonna go kind of go along here and show you each one of those studs, which is holding up the shelving as well as supporting the walls of this unit. Um, I'm gonna go back again and just kind of do a little quick view to show you I didn't drill anything from the outside of this storage, so I have zero screws penetrating the exterior walls. I think it looks pretty good. It's my first time doing this. And as you can see, this right here is actually, is actually really, really solid. I kind of put a little notch in this plywood right here to go around this beam, the roof strut, um, which would allow this piece right here to be straight even with the actual door opening. So that helped me pretty good right there also. What did I use? Um, things that I think are necessary. I used a regular drill as well as my impact drill. 
I used both of those pretty much for the entire duration of this because I used the regular Phillips head. I didn't, I had the star bit for the screws, but I didn't use those. I don't know why, but I had plenty of the regular Phillips head or cross head, if any, though, anybody want to say that, that I used for the everything pretty much. I used my 25 foot measuring tape. I used the cobalt reciprocating saw as well as the cobalt circular saw. Um, both of those were actually really good. I used this the most, which was the circular saw. I pretty much used the reciprocating saw to notch these little holes in here. Um, what did I say I used it for? I think just small stuff, but pretty much the entire job was used by my reciprocating, I'm sorry, my circular saw here. And this saw, people, it's actually really awesome. This saw, I mean, it's like a hot knife cutting through butter. So I use that. As far as screws, I did use the Deck Plus, which I got it from home. I got it from Lowe's, and these are 10 by 3 and a half inches. The reason I use these were actually for my base, my actual structured floor, or the foundation, as you may call it. And the other part I used it for was for this one small piece right here, because I didn't have any lag bolts. So I didn't want to go back to Lowe's and just buy one lag bolt and come back home. So I just used those. And because those are three and a half inches long, it gave me plenty of meat to attach through that two by four as well as the subfloor. Um, I used the other exterior screws. These are eight by one and five eighths. I use these for pretty much everything. For all the um, plywood, all of the two by fours that's being supported by the uh the brackets as you see i need to tighten that one right there back up so i use these for pretty much 95 percent of my job um and again both of these i got from lowe's this set i had prior to starting on my shed because i did i redid my actual fence post so i use these and this grip right brand excuse me this is from home depot the ash actual fast and tight both of these are from Lowe's. So I already had these prior to starting on my shed. That's why I used the rest of those and I was at Lowe's. So I ended up buying this from Lowe's. I used the metal Phillips and these are 10 by 3 4 inches long. I used these because unfortunately I could not find the screws like here that came with the shed. I had a few left over and I could not find my, 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 the remaining screws I had left. So what I did, I went to Lowe's, and because I put some shelves up in my garage, I had some screws that are very similar to these. These also came from Lowe's, and as you can see, these actually supported all of the brackets. These are in every single bracket that I just did. They're not going to the exterior side of the um, shed. As you can see, there's actually no penetration from the inside. These are the screws. They do not penetrate the exterior walls at all. Um, so I think that overall first time doing it everything came out actually really good and very solid so here's the screws I use for the brackets to the walls as well as the two by fours those L brackets they're just like this right here except some goes to the wall right here the back wall and they connect the two by fours and this wall is very solid it's not going anywhere as you can see I gotta tighten up this screw again um, but I'm gonna go back and get a few more brackets for this back wall as you can see it kind of pushes back just a tad bit not a lot but I'm gonna get a couple more brackets and what I'm going to do is I'm going to support my wall from beneath here so no one can see those brackets um, probably do that today tomorrow sometime soon but overall I think the shelving came out awesome they are not super wide but they are wide enough this back shell and actually put this one because it's the back I actually cut this one about 22 inches wide the side shelving these are actually 11 inches wide um, and I cut these shorter this one and this one because I have this back piece and if you're wondering how I get this long piece in here because it's, it is the exact same diameter of the entire width of the shed I cut it but then I realized it would not fit on my shelving so what I did I cut it and then I just came right here and I just cut it right down the middle 
Um, and I cut it in the middle because as you can look underneath here, this stud right here gave me that support so I can screw both of those into to go along with this cross support piece right here as well. Um, I don't see this going anywhere for us falling from weight or anything like that. I have more than enough weight supporting, I mean studs supporting my shelving. I'm happy with the job. Um, hopefully this will help somebody else. I know preparing to do this, I looked up a few um, Rubbermaid shells, how to prepare them, and some of them was very helpful actually. So this is a seven by seven, and it's just studs to build shelves in a seven by seven Rubbermaid storage unit. And I think this one, matter of fact, yes, this share was also also purchased at Lowe's. So almost everything in here was purchased at Lowe's for the most part. Um, so hope someone, if someone find this video actually very helpful, give me a like, a like, and a blessing to you and your family. Thank you. Bye bye.